I hate because an investigation is continuing into a fire at a gas substation in Nottinghamshire that led to around 100 homes being evacuated last night. So it was in trial just before six, with a 200 metre cordon put in place. Stapleford councillor Richard McRae streamed what was happening on Facebook. It's a gas substation on the corner of Pit Lane, which is just off Stapleford Road. There's another fire engine just turned up. Look, here we go. I don't know how many's down this. People have been sending me photos. It's because it's gas. It's probably going to take them a little while to put it out. People in the vicinity have been um, evacuated. Someone put earlier that their parents was up there and they've, they've gone to their house. So they've evacuated people and, and they've gone to, if I say, safe places. I think it's the best thing to say, isn't it? And Ben Hibbert was one of those asked to leave his home. My mind went to the worst place. It could blow up, could damage the house. People could get seriously injured. So it was a bit of a panic, but we all got out safely and just hoping for the best. Now, we're told that people were allowed back in the home in the early hours of the morning, but while they were away from their home, there was a huge community response offering food, drinks and clothing. Richard McRae is with me now. Good afternoon, Richard. What was it like last night? Good afternoon. Well, first, I've got to say that, I mean, Stateford always had the best community in the world. Trial was absolutely amazing as well last night. So, the, you know, it's big thank yous to the councillors at um, Trial Council. They opened their parish hall up. They had over 70 people in there. Uh, James Jackets, I'm sure I'm allowed to shout that, and I'll say James Jackets again. He pulled up giving jacket potatoes to everybody, even fed the police, so that was brilliant. I think Morrison's and also the post office up, up, up Trial Way and Ilkeston, they stepped up and fed everybody. And then over this side in Stapleford, we got volunteers at the Washington Drive Community Centre and we had hot chocolate and soup. I, I was, I, I was going to ask you, how would you describe, I suppose, the response from people offering help? But you've you just done that in such a magnificent way. Why do you think people went above and beyond just so fast? Was there kind of like frantic energy at the beginning where people were panicking? No, we've just got a great community, haven't we? And I, I've always said we might not be the richest people in the world in cash, but we're definitely the re richest in, in, in heart and spirit and community. And we just look out for each other. It's what we do, so it just comes natural to people. Uh, which is such a lovely thing, specifically with uh, the world being the way it is at the moment. I think something like that is just definitely something to scream about. So I love the fact we're talking about it now. Now, Richard, I know you've been involved in a number of community projects during lockdown, including food banks. And it's something that we mentioned now. Uh, but how has it made you think about how communities can really pull together? I mean, I, I set up State for Community Group back in 20 no, 2011, and, and the strap line at the time was bringing unity to the community, and that's what we've always done. And I said, you know, there's loads of people in Stateford. I'm quite vocal, as everybody knows, you know, once you get me talking, I never shut up. There's loads of people that just do the similar things that's very quiet. You know, everyone does it in their own way. There's lots of groups out there. It's not just Stateford Community Group. There's lots of groups out there doing wonderful stuff. We've just got an amazing community, and when people pull together, it's even better. And we, we always just, I won't say going above and beyond, it's because it's what we do. We all look out for each other. You know, people have been out there today making sure people have had meals and stuff. Thanks to Ivan at the um, White Line in Bramkett, he, he supplied a load of meals and then we had volunteers taking them round to residents in Trout. Um, so everybody just steps, steps up and, and you do what you have to do because we've just got a great community and we all look out for each other. I love that. So I, I know last night we're, we're talking about kind of um, a fire at a gas substation, but in essence what you're talking about is this community spirit is just always there. So regardless of an event like this taking place, it's actually that community spirit is just always there. Is that right? It, it most certainly is, and uh, like at times of need, it just it just comes to the forefront, doesn't it? Because we do it all the time, you know, whether, whether it's supporting local football teams, whether, whether it's supporting people just doing stuff in the community. We've got an amazing community, and I always say Stateford's the centre of the earth, because it is. But like I said, you've got to give credit to Trowel last night, because they ended up getting James Jackets up there and Jackets potatoes, and all, they, all we had was hot chocolates and cup of soup. So they outdid us last night, but <laughs> joking aside, the main thing was everybody was kept safe. People was there at the time in need, and you know nobody was wandering around the streets wondering what was going on. We, we managed to get everybody warm and safe, and that's the main thing. And the fire brigade, how can you not thank them? Cracking job. We're dead lucky they're in Stateford, and they always keep us safe. I love it. As you know, and you, you, like I said, I just love the fact you sound so enthusiastic about their community spirit and so forth. And I know we talked about it on BBC Radio Nottingham across radio or television about things like the Make a Difference campaign, which have been just showcasing how people have been going above and beyond over the last year as a whole to just actually help one another. And there, there's this debate about kind of locality 
Um, so what I mean by that, Richard, is our, our worlds have got so much smaller over the last year. So things like community spirit, when it's there, people feel it so much more. And it's just because people are really... You, you don't see many places, do you, at the moment? I mean, I mean, you just see kind of just around your locality. No, I mean, you, you see everyone do it. Every, a lot of people are, are, are st stuck at home, aren't they? So, you know, neighbours are starting to talk to each other. That's how it was when I was growing up. So, so to me, I've always been like that, you know, and I suppose that's thanks to my mum and dad and everyone on the street, you know, w where I grew up. I, 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 that's how it should be. Neighbours should talk to your neighbours. I, I don't like it when people are like, oh, such and such lived, lived up the street for years and never spoke to them. It, it, it wasn't like that when I was growing up. Everybody knew each other, and like, you, you looked out for each other's kids. It's kind of come back again, hasn't it? Yeah, too right. I was just thinking my next door neighbours didn't uh, lock their back door and I was mates with them really badly. I used to just walk in. I didn't even knock. Yeah. I love that. Uh, we can't bring that well, back, I, I mean, I, def I definitely tell people to lock the doors and that because yeah. that's, you know, we're, we're, not back, we're not back that far yet. But, you know, <laughs> one, one day we might be, but, you know, definitely lock your doors and windows and stuff. If I didn't say that, the police would tell me off. But, you know, we, Stapleford's the best place in the world. Tra trial, I'll, I'll say trial comes in second because I have to say that. But, you no, know, everybody last night, the, the work was amazing. And it's just thank you to everybody because there were so many people pulled together to make sure so many people was kept safe. And that's what matters, isn't it? Absolutely marvellous. Thank you so much, Richard. All right, take care.